Hello guys, in today's video I would like to show you how to set up the automatic cargo rocket. The quick setup will take you no longer than 30 seconds. There's also a possibility to adjust the rocket to your specific needs like changing flight parameters or setting up your own cargo to deploy and this guide will also cover those areas. You can see a video layout right now, so feel free to skip to the part that interests you the most. After subscribing the item, paste or print it into your world. By default, it should stick to the ground for better stability. For some reason, it's better to paste it on a natural flat surface like a frozen lake than on blocks. After pasting or printing the rocket, find the control panel. It should automatically extend once you're close. While pointing at it, press K. Select Orbit Controller Remote Control. At this point, you have control over the rocket graphical interface. There are four submenus from which you can adjust the mission settings. Type of mission, mission engine parameters and launch, maintenance settings, modules control panel. You can navigate through those by using 1 for up, 2 for down, 3 for select, 5 for the previous page, 6 for the next page, 8 and 9 to select the values. On the first submenu called type, you can set one of the three mission types. Space, Orbital, or Edge. Selecting space will make the rocket escape the planet's gravity well. Set thrust and dampers to the idle state and drift further in space. It's a useful feature if you want to conduct a mining operation on a nearby asteroid or get your cargo to the orbital space station. It's recommended for a crew mission. The second mission type orbital will make the rocket get to 42 and a half thousand meters above sea level. Deploy the laser satellite, start to orbit around the planet and deploy radio satellites in the 7 minutes and 40 seconds intervals to provide a connection all around Earth for about 9 hours. After a full orbit and deploying the last satellite, the rocket will turn on its autopilot and try to go back to set coordinates, turning on its beacon and falling gently on the parachutes for easy recovery. The last mission type is Edge. In that mode, the rocket will deliver the laser satellite model to 42.5 thousand meters. Deploy it and go back to set coordinates. In the next submenu called Mission, you can select how much thrust you want to provide for your payload. The maximum takeoff weight on Earth for 50% thrust is 190,000 kilograms total. Full thrust will provide the power to take up 390,000 kilograms total into space. You can check how heavy is the craft in the info tab. The last option in that submenu is launch. It will start the launch sequence of the rocket. I recommend using it after setting a mission type and turning on the thrust. After we learn how do the modes work, let's do the quick setup. Open the terminal. Select mission type. Select how much thrust you need. Launch. And done. Except for the first two submenus, we also have the maintenance tab. Over here, you can recharge the rocket's batteries, resupply the hydrogen, and lock and unlock all of the connectors. The next tab called Models lets us switch the payload of the rocket. From that menu, we can attach or detach the model, lock the top connector, and turn on the projectors with models blueprints. So how do we change the model? First, select Attach Detach Model. After doing so, remove the old model and place the new one on its spot. Remember to match the merge blocks so the new payload holds well during the flight. As mentioned before, you can set up your own payload. Space and edge modes are adjusted to work with custom payloads. So you can send the rocket with your container full of gold to the space station or deploy your custom-made satellite to orbit. The rocket was made to be recovered after each mission to save resources. However, to make it go back to your base, you need to set up its location first, so the rocket knows how to go back home. To do that, create a new GPS entry with your base's position. Then, get into the rocket's terminal and find remote control landing. It's easy because the block is marked with the hash, so just type it in the terminal and you should see it right away. Now add your base GPS location to the waypoint. From now on, your rocket knows where should it go back after finalizing its mission. I would also like to mention how to adjust the rocket for the launch from another planet. By default, the rocket is adjusted for missions conducted in Earth gravity well. That means that the deployment phase will take place at exactly 42.5 thousand meters above sea level. However, for each planet that value is different. For example, to deploy payload at the moon's orbit, you only have to deliver it to 2,500 meters while on Earth, that's 42 and a half thousand. That is 17 times more. So let's change that to avoid unnecessary losses. Find one or all the presented timer blocks. Click on Setup Actions and clear the toolbar. 
find PB block altitude trigger and run it with the following arguments for each timer block, where X stands for the desired altitude in meters above sea level. If you plan to launch your laser satellites to orbit, you should also change the target orbit. Find PB block orbital autopilot and press edit. Change the target orbit to the desired value. While over here, you can also change the target orbit inclination. You will see the representation of this change in the interactive LCD. For the people who use speed mods, you can change the target orbital velocity. However, remember that the high velocity will consume more fuel. In the vanilla game, the rocket can launch to the full circle around Earth and come back using less than 35% of total fuel capacity. For extended speed cap, that may be double or even triple depending on the settings, so please keep that in mind while planning your mission. Also, try to aim for such deploy altitude to allow the laser satellite to slow down in time after the deployment and the rocket not to escape the planet's gravity well. Another useful feature is setting the rocket to orbit above a specific point on the planet. To set it up, get into the rocket's terminal, clear the toolbar, and find PV drop point and run it with the desired point GPS coordinates. Thanks to that function, you will be able to establish a radio connection with your mining facility or conduct a remote military operation on the enemy territory. If after watching this video, you still got some questions, do not hesitate to visit the Discord channel. Over there, you can share your creations, ideas, find some useful information, ask questions, discuss with others, make suggestions, and more. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe for more.